All right, so as far as my buddies, um, they're getting pretty long. It definitely feels like they've grown a good inch on the past like six months or something. Um, Um, what I've been doing to put them up is pretty much to just take these to get them on my face. Okay. I'll take a longer brown. Wrap it up. So this is like the easiest thing. I do it all the time. That's it. Um, I also have been wearing my hair down a lot. Um, and there's a lot of new growth. It's just kind of dreading on its own. There's like this baby stuff in there. Yeah, I And people say I have no loose hairs. What's this? What's all this, huh? Let's see. Let's work on my job. So they're growing together. So if you take this apart, you can either rip it, right? Just rip it apart like I just did. Or you can kind of sit there and just separate them. And it takes a long time. And then, I also had a question, someone was asking me how you would go about crocheting your own threads uh, to do maintenance on this. Um, and you know, the only thing I can suggest doing is um, just the roots, because they're the ones that are what needs maintenance, you know, nothing really else needs to be maintained other than your hygiene. Um, you know, as I'm washing the, the hair. Um, so what I would do, um, I need to separate these. So I have it separated. What I would do is just gonna grab that section and just loose hairs all around. Crochet them around. So that they don't start putting themselves into other threads. I don't, no one ever has ever worked on my dreads. Um, I've, I've helped other people, you know, with just getting their dress straightened out or whatever the case may be. Um, 
I've always enjoyed just working on my own threads. And it's not really that hard. Once you really get the technique down, you can do it. Totally. So, what I'll do is just kind of grab all these loose hairs. And put my hook in. I'm just kind of pull them in. And also, all my dreads, every single one of my dreads, has loose um, roots. At least the first inch and a half is just regular hair. Um, there's really no way to make the dreads touch your scalp, you know? Like, you just have them dreaded all the way down naturally. Um, naturally, they would start dreading about an inch away from your scalp, so. I see a lot of people are worried about, you know, why am I really so loose, but really it's just how that are. Um, so yeah, I'm just still kind of pulling all these loose hairs and that's it. You know, I don't want to go all the way into the mature part of the dread that's thick, so just right here where it's kind of loose. So, that's it. That's all I do. This one. See, this is obviously, it was like two dreads, and they're going together. So, obviously, they want to, that's why they want to be sectioned. So, I'm just gonna let him do that thing. Hopefully, this could somehow shrink and dread into it over here. Um, or you can do it for sure. You can just do that. Um, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this as it is, and then this part of it, I'm just gonna kind of attach in here a little tiny bit. Um, just so it's a little more neat and it doesn't give it the opportunity to have other loose hairs from different sections coming in. Let's see that. That's it. I didn't want these to come together. So I'm separating them. Another thing I hear all the time is, I'm getting all these loops. What's going on? Is it okay? But yes, it's okay. All friends have loops, I think. At least all mine do.
So that's as far as the maintenance goes, I guess. Um, separating. And if you have time or want to, you can do it. You hope. This was actually the first time that I've done this um, in a long, long time. Um, I pretty much should have just because people are asking how you would do maintenance on drugs. Um, so, yeah. That's my dreads. This guy is like my favorite. This one's pretty Husbands who now has dreads and they don't fit him. Um, so they're pretty much all mine. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. 